Wow, that is my favorite shark right there. I wish we could get something like this. He's actually standing on top of it and he doesn't even know. <laughs> Crazy. You mother What up, dude? What up, what up? You gonna pick up a shark in this? Yeah, bro. <laughs> this is my new Ferrari, dude. <laughs> Hey. What's up, guys? Is that Burger King? Yeah, of course. <laughs> my cheat day. <laughs> Every day is a cheat day for that mother So what do you got? You got a burger? Mm -hmm. No chicken nuggets? Mm-mm. Big -mm. When are you gonna become a healthy freak, bro? This is healthy. This is American healthy. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys know, we're having our showroom done and we're gonna have salt water as well. That's why my boy Fit and I came here to pick up a shark. I used to have this shark before I imported it when I was in Florida. Mm -hmm. We had to end up getting rid of them because we didn't have space. This is actually Punch Critters. They're more towards the end of the island, right? We're, we're into the island, but not all the way at the end yet, right? We're about, what, 75, I think 75% of the way into the island about. Pretty much, yeah. This is one of the oldest stores in Long Island that deals with aquarium fish, and it's a full, what's the word, full, full line pet store as well. So they carry everything. Mm -hmm. All right, so you know John, John's the owner, you know him. I've known him, yes, for many years, even before I moved to LA. I'm originally from New York, so I know Jonathan from way so, back. So we might have a little connection here and there, you know, we might be able to get something at a better we'll price. See. We'll see. I mean, he helped us out when we first moved here. Yes, he did. Right? We got some cycled media from him, some salt and stuff like that. This was like before we knew anybody. So he was, he's was he been helpful already. And that's what's cool about it. Like, you know, some stores will get upset that like you're coming to the town or their city or their state, you know, but I think in the long run, if we all helped each other, it would be much better for everyone. I use this guy. I just show up. There. I just show up. I knew up. you were going to bring him. I would have brought Ryan for him to babysit. <laughs> Let's go inside. They already know we're coming. We're not just showing up with cameras everywhere. We asked for permission. Oh, there he is, right there. He is. <laughs> That's the cool thing. As soon as you walk in, you see that con. It's really, really cool. Hey, guys. What's up, How buddy? are you? That's John. John, for John. Kevin, how are you? So you guys used to like go out parties and oh yeah, we're always like, out in the club. Yeah. <laughs> so Kevin was saying this is like a food pack store. Yep. What else do you sell besides fish? We have small animals, birds, reptiles. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about birds, this one right there. So what is something like crazy that people come here and they're like, oh wow, I didn't know you had this. Yeah. Furry dogs. Scary dogs. Yeah, like squirrels. <laughs> squirrels without the tail. Yeah. Really? Shop, right? No, they, they made too much noise. Oh, and now he's working with them separately. So he's getting his pad to show us. Meanwhile, we're gonna walk this way. It almost looks like you're walking into a, a zoo aquarium because of the entrance. What do you think, big guy? Oh, yeah, no, I love it. it, 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 it. I remember they used to be at uh, Canada or Highland at a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. some tilapia. This is a big tank. This is a... Uh... Wow. Dude, I mean, we're, we came to pick up a shark, but that is my favorite shark right there. I wish we could get something like this. Those are cool. Yeah, it's insane. They're not cheap. They're super rare. And they look very different from them when they're born to adult. Like, this guy's already looking more like an adult. How look. big do these guys get? Five, six feet. Five, six feet. In the wild, even bigger. So it's almost there, right? Isn't yeah. another two feet? Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he should be breedable pretty soon. So it's more manageable than like a nurse shark. A nurse shark get way bigger, right? A nurse shark gets bigger, but these guys, so if they have the full ocean, they also can get big. Mm. But they're out of our budget, so. All right, guys, we got a little surprise for Rod. You know how he tricked me by going to Florida? Well, we're gonna have a little twist. And where is he? He doesn't hear what I'm saying. Yeah, don't show too much. All right, we got a surprise for him. Stay tuned, okay? You're not gonna wanna miss this. We we're building that 12,000 of salt water. Oh, it's right here. Check this out. Oh, so, Piper? Piper. 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 Yeah, she's a wallaby. Wallaby. So, it's almost like a kangaroo. Yeah, it's like a smaller species. She's an eight and still likes to hang out on our makeshift pouch. So, but sometimes you walk around just carrying yeah. her like that. Yep. Hey. Thanks, Why don't you man. go show everybody the rest of the store? Yep. Oh, oh it's, it's that time. Okay. Okay, all right. It's that time. Okay.
Hey, John, you got a second? Of course I do. So on this side here, they got two big tanks, and here I can see more barbs, like more docile fish. It's a big barami over there. All right, so you know, Every time Rob comes in here, he has his eye on that show. Yeah, it's has to be pictured all, all the time. All the time. Yeah. yeah. But in here is where I like to be. It's a beautiful phase three luteus. But what I'm really looking at is these aronis. Look at the size of these aronis. Maybe if AJ can sweet talk them too to sell one of them because we need yeah. big fish. So what do you think about getting him one? Do you think that's possible? I think I've been... Uh, Working on it for him for some time now. But he pretty much sells everything. Datas, cakes everywhere, there's products. I don't think he ships, so you guys will have to come here. We can make sure we put the description down below. Okay, so I, I saw that you have one back there. Is that for us or that, that's, that's for somebody that's else? That's for you guys. Some uh, archer fish. And these are pretty cool because if you put bugs in there, they will actually spit water on them, get them in the water so they can eat them. Okay. Oh, so I didn't tell Rod. Yes, so this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> whole wall is all corals. I don't know much about corals at all. I know they're not cheap. And also they're very delicate. So you have to know what you're doing to be able to manage these guys. I haven't ever even attempted to. The sharks that we were looking for, these guys, it's huge. Huge for the size, because they don't get that big. This is a bamboo shark. And then there was a short-tailed nurse shark back there. That's the one I was looking to get. So he thinks we're coming here to grab that other bamboo shark, that big bamboo shark, right? If you're cool with this, I would like to box that <coughs> bamboo shark. Mm -hmm. Close up the box, and he thinks we're leaving with that one. But we're actually gonna box the other one. Okay. When he gets back to the shop, he, he won't know what the hell hit him. That sounds like a... Sounds good. As long as you let me see, see the expression. Yeah. Send me a video of this. What do you guys think? I'm gonna get him back. Yeah. Just for him lying to me about going to Florida and getting the gar, right? <laughs> All, right. All right, so let's keep it let's keep it secret. So don't tell him until we're not gonna end, tell right? him anything. We'll go back to him right now and tell him that right. John's gonna work on it. All right? All right, cool. So for today, we're gonna take that. Uh, was it the bamboo? Which one do you prefer, the bamboo or the, the bamboo. nurse? You prefer I think the bamboo. the bamboo. They don't grow. That other one's a nurse. That's it's a, a short-tailed nurse. nurse. I, I like the bamboo. Let's, let's okay. get the bamboo for now. If we get the bamboo, we're gonna have to put them in a small setup, nine to twelve thousand. They don't grow that big. Okay, not at all. Not at all. You want to see anything else? Like you want to go back there? You want to see what's back there? Cool. Well, yeah. I mean, you're kind of like an employee. You've been you've been spent for many, many years. Take a yeah. peek. Just take a peek. Yeah, that's all right. Oh. We, don't, we don't have to get crazy with it, but I always like to look around other stores to see how they do things and yeah, you know, pick up tips and stuff. You know what I mean? You all know. So if you ever see Kevin coming to your store, shut the lights off. <laughs> and I hear like motors coming from back there, so let's see. It's probably like something cool. I can't see what I'm doing. Yo. What? Oh, we're right. coming here. Check this out. What? This is his filtration room for the whole store. I was like wondering, all those tanks, you know, I, it looked like the system, but I, I couldn't tell where it was going. So this is for the whole store? Uh, I'm guessing it's for all these rows here, probably. But he has fresh salt, so obviously yeah. it It looks like, look, it's, come, it's oh. different compartments. These might be fresh. Oh, this is salt, okay. big guy. This, this is probably the salt, right? Because it's bubbling more. That's a fish. And these are UVs. That big? Look, are those the heater system? Yeah, that's heaters. Those are coil heaters. That probably goes to a boiler, like what I said, that I want to think about doing for our place. So that's the loop, that's the heat exchange loop, and it probably goes through a boiler in, in the building somewhere. We should ask him to make sure, just to see if the giant was right or wrong. So, uh, yeah. so if we're building something big, we kind of have to have similar. Yeah. Well, see, look, great minds think alike, and this is more or less like kind of what we want to do, right? The UV, the moving bed, and then the heating system. I mean, it's, it's basic, but in a larger scale and efficient. So right now we're gonna can you help us back those yeah, sharks? Definitely. Thank you. And then I'm thinking about maybe not now because we still have to cycle the tank, but look, it's got bigger fish as well. I definitely want to put a big emperor. I saw one here. We can put a big emperor in the tank with them later. And then I'll speak John, I also want to grow some fish. But we can just have sharks and groupers. Okay. Need some big fish to circle that big twelve thousand. Something like this. Look at these guys. I don't know, I think these might be called Pompano or we barbecue them. <laughs> oh, well, hopefully they'll be big enough that we, we just don't barbecue, we just hold them. Just got some stingrays here. 
I like that black one. Have you seen that black one before? Which one? This one. Yeah. Um, we're going to be getting some too. What? Hey, take a look at these. Have you ever see this kind of stuff? The tails are red. The color on them is pretty nice. They got the red gill and throat and then uh, red tails. Yeah. Yeah. But there's something here that's cool. Like if you have a bigger tank and you're looking for a big Giardini, $350. That's not that big huh? for the no, price. For the price. size. So if you guys want, I mean, I can even help you ship. I'll ship it to you. Which I'd probably ask for a little cut, you know. $700. Are those Dorado? The, uh, the Tricon. We'd have the little small ones. Yeah, right? small ones. You got big ones here. The peacocks. See, that's what I like about these guys. They look like the Dorado, but they're way more peaceful. Yeah, but see, we don't want peaceful. Okay. We want, you know, our fish like our wives. You know what I'm saying? They know what I'm saying. Nah, I don't know what you're saying. Well, you do because oil is more like a Dorado. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> well, listen. Well, we all know oil is more like a Dorado than a Brycon, okay? All right, so we got a brush. We got to put this away. We got right now. We're going to go back to the shop. I still have to go to the airport. Yeah, yeah. You, don't wanna, you don't want to catch it? Uh, I don't know. I don't put my hand on other people's tanks, bro. Okay. That was easy. You can't do that? Oh, there we go. There you go. It's pretty good size, right? They don't go yeah. much bigger than that. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. He's got a whole sump right here for all the cold water fish. Like you got goldfish. All type. That's pretty pretty big. Yeah, that's uh that's pretty good size goldfish right there. So he's got goldfish on top. And you got paddlefish, look. Swim in here. What do you think about the system? Easy, right? Right. These are made out of fiberglass, so they don't rust, right? Mm -hmm. So it looks like to me, the cornerstone of his filtration is the UV, right? More than anything else, he's going all out on this. Oh, but look, this is a drum, big drum. Look, big one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is this the same thing that we gave Paul? Or we hooked up for Paul, yeah, just bigger? Yeah, pretty much the same thing. It's like what we have. It's like the drum filter I have, but half of it is the moving Media, media and how oh, the drum. This little drum, he's doing an entire system. And it's a little bit overkill, I think, but there's minimal work to do. So. Yeah. I'm going to the bathroom. I'll see you guys back at the car. We still got to go to the airport pick up. I can't carry that box. I can't carry myself. Mike is here. Mike will help you. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So. Rod has no idea what's going on. We actually pretended to catch that carpet shark. I mean, that bamboo shark. It's back in the tank right there. Okay? You see it? He's, he's back in the tank. We got something else, and it's in that box right there. He has no idea. He's still walking around looking for fit. Okay, it's not, it's not Rod. <laughs> it's not Rod. See those archer fish in the front? Yeah. That's a platinum one here. Look how cool that is. It's, all white. We want to get that when we do our platinum tank. We were thinking about getting a whole group of uh, platinum archer fish to be in that tank. These guys look really nice too. These are full black, almost like melanistic looking angel fish. Look at the size compared to my hand. You can see how tall this looks. I mean, it's more work because you got to go up on the ladder, but I think it looks more impressive. Like, in my opinion, it looks cool. Like you've seen fish from different angles. You know, and then Kevin is more like, he wants to be more possible. He wants everything to be high level, but not having to go up on the ladder or not having to bend down too much. Because he says he's getting older, so we have to make things easier. But I do believe this looks pretty cool. All right, we just finished boxing this fish up. He has no idea what's going on. He's busy making side deals over there. I don't know, I think he's on the phone with Paul or something, but we got him, we got him. <laughs> Yo, what are you guys doing talking? We got fish here. That's the fish. Uh, that's the fish. Doesn't matter. John, thank you. Well, let me know about the, the Armadas whenever you yeah. you feel kind kindness in your heart. And uh, once again, they're pets. Well, you know, I raised them. You can't have four pets. <laughs> <laughs> He's always eyeing other people's fish. <laughs> but I appreciate everything. Oh man! Hopefully, we'll come back in the future and get one of those sharks. Okay. Um, and you get a lot of crazy stuff too, right? Yeah, we always get different animals. Well, congratulations. The store looks great. Thank you. You know, wish you much success. And we're here to be partners. If you have need anything, 
I know Fiji yeah. is not always the friendliest, but no. we're we're but softening him up a little bit. Sun and fish boxes equals that. Yeah. So let's go. <laughs> you see how he ends the videos? He always does that. All right. See you guys back in the shop. Oh, thanks, John. Dude, this car is like, shh. Oops, sorry, sorry. Cool. All right, John. Thanks, man. See you, man. We'll see you. All right, Kevin. Be in touch, man. Will do. We're back at the shop, and right now, I'm going to take you guys over here and show you what we set up for the shark. Like I said, he's not the species to get really big, so we can put him in here uh, until we have our whole exhibit ready. But this tank is set up, and as you see, there's something floating right here. It's a shark egg. But I want you guys to tell me if you know what type of shark is in here. You're not gonna be able to see it until we have the light. I actually put the light on the other day, and I could see it moving around. So there is a shark in there. Hopefully, he'll hatch. I don't know how many um, how many more months he'll need to be in there but there is one of the sharks here that we want to keep in our exhibit. So hopefully we can have them and show the pro process from the little egg all the way to a giant shark. Right now, I have other sharks in mind that I want to get, but like I said, a 12,000 gallon still being put together. We want to get Bonaheads. We want to get that Wabagon shark. It's like a carpet shark. There's some really cool stuff that we can have it, learn from it, and everybody can learn from it. I said that twice. But I like the bamboo sharks because they don't get as big and I believe they're very easy to breed. So if we can get a nice big male and a big female, hopefully they'll end up breeding and we can uh, have a whole breeding project here. That'll be, that'll be, I mean, Fiji can breed stingrays. Sharks are not much different, right? Some of them just require a lot of uh, space. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dude, yep. Did you know about this? Yep. Yeah, so you remember when I went to the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> so I, kinda, I can't even, I'm speechless right now. Look, my hair went up. <laughs> so when I went to the bathroom, me and Kevin, we went and talked to John. We boxed up the other fish and then put it back. <laughs> Made you think that we had the bamboo shark. So he already, and now had, we have this. He already had one that he was holding for us? Yep. We had it and you walked right past right. it. I'm going to call him right now. <laughs> Yo, that's so crazy. I can't believe it. So guys, this is, this is not the bamboo shark. This is the zebra shark that we showed you in that big tank. Uh, Hello? You mother -er. you got the zebra shark? <laughs> <laughs> you, you opened the box? I opened a box. I, I was talking and I opened a box and I'm like, I started laughing because I didn't believe it. You didn't tell me you getting that shark. You busy running around? Well, look, hey, you went out and you got me that gold car, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, actually, you, you kind of put this in motion and I just closed the deal for you uh, in, with, regarding this shark. So, uh, so now we're even. Yep. So you know how I, I told everyone that I was gonna give you a big hug. Yeah. No more, no more big hug. Okay. Just a this shot. You know what? I'll <laughs> take the shark. I'll take. He did all that hug. just to not give me a hug. <laughs> Damn, bitch. I, I see. I see how it works. <laughs> but I think everyone watching might prefer the hug over the shark. So. <laughs> all right. Well, if this video gets ten thousand likes for the shark, and then Fiji will give me a hug. How about that? Wait, how, how is that fair to me? What do you mean? Because because we're... And I have to give you the hug? Yeah, I mean, I can give you the hug back. But 10,000 okay. likes on this video, we'll hug each other on camera. All right, all right. Sounds good. He's all right. doing good? Yeah, he's doing good. I'm going to start accommodating him right now. But I, I, I appreciate it, bro. You know how much I wanted these sharks. Uh, it's one of my favorites. But I didn't think, when okay. you told me today, like, oh, I spoke to John, he's gonna get you the next one. I, I thought you were serious. <laughs> so you're just as much as a liar as I am. <laughs> well, hey, you know, I learned from the best. That's true, that's true. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. So this is even better than I expected, guys. We got our shark that we wanted, as you can see right here, he's decent size. I say he's got to be at least a good 30 inches already. I want to make sure the water is not much different, but I want to start taking all water, acclimating him, and then I'll come back with you guys when we're putting him in the tank. But like I said, 10,000 likes for the shark. Fiji will give me a hug. And if you uh, want to put in the comments below as well, what we can name this beautiful, beautiful new pet that we got here at Predatory Fence. All right, so before we keep acclimating, I want to make sure 
that our salinity level is the same. So what I'm gonna do here, take a little bit of this water, put it right there, a nice little splash, and I'll look at the light. Is it right at 1.25? I don't know if you guys can see it. All right, so that's not bad. 25 is great. So let's check this guy. And the cool thing about these sharks is they're pretty much like a nurse shark. They can just lay there, as you can see, and he can still breathe. Normal sharks, they have to keep swimming around like a paddlefish to survive, otherwise they'll die. But these types of sharks, they're able to just sit still and still pump oxygen through their gills, which is pretty cool. Uh, so his salinity is a little bit higher, it's like 26. So it's not that bad. If I keep acclimating, the temperature's almost the same. They'll be good to go. Now another cool thing is that shark egg is actually for the same shark. So now we can get two if that little baby hatches and I'm hoping there will be a boy and a girl. We actually have to see if this one's a boy or a girl because I, I didn't see it. I thought we were getting a bamboo shark, which is a lot cheaper than this one, but not as rare as well. This is a very rare shark and I love it. I'm so happy we got it. And I'm so happy that we're actually doing the 12,000 gallon salt water again. And I, I believe even for the freshwater lovers, you know, like you guys get to see stuff that is not very easy to find. You know, even, even when we had it in Florida, we had the prime time and all those big fish. We're gonna do that all over again, but in a bigger scale. So guys, while that shark is acclimating, I wanna show you this one right here. I wanna make sure that he was still moving. When I put him in here, he was moving very well. To do this, you don't wanna pull him out of the water. You have to use a very bright light to see. Yeah, yeah, look at that, dude. What? How cool is that? You see the little tail? That's a little baby shark. Yo, that's crazy. So that's the egg yeah. yolk. That's the egg yolk right in the middle. And that's what's feeding that little baby shark until he gets to a decent size and then we can open them up. Sometimes they will, they will hatch on their own. Sometimes they need a little help. All right, we've been acclimating him for a good 45 minutes. He's looking very active right now. So my goal is just to pick him up and move it to this pond. I don't want to use a net because nets in my opinion, could damage their fins. Um, I've done that with other fish, but with these types of sharks, you almost just want to grab them really fast and then just move. So one, two, and wow, he's just so cool, dude. Look, he's just chilling. Come on, buddy. Come on. Look, Look how long the tail is, dude. What a beautiful fish. So he's going to be in this pond here. We're going to Make sure he's eating well. We gotta feed him, take care of him. And then when we have the showroom ready, he's gonna go inside of the 12,000. What do you guys think? I know a lot of you will be happy to see him grow. And uh, he's gonna be our new mascot here at Predatory Fins. And just together with uh, his little brother and sister here. Oh, we didn't even see if it's a, it's a boy or a girl. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Come here. Come on, just real quick, just real quick. It's a boy. All right, so we gotta name him. It's a boy. And let's hope that the next one here will be a girl. And who knows, maybe in the future, uh, they can give us some purses. Mermaid purses, what do you think? But I thank you guys for watching. We're gonna keep getting more animals. We don't wanna get too much because we're not ready. But when things like this come around, I didn't expect it today. But I guess Vijay uh, played a trick on me just like I did on him. We do have a lot of fish already that we're keeping for the exhibit. Like, for example, we got tiger rays that we've been holding on for the exhibit. You know, we have a few of them. We got the Australian lungfish at a great size already that we're gonna be growing out for the, for the exhibit. We got SC that noids. So we do have a lot of cool stuff already on the works. So when the exhibit's ready, we can move these fish over. But I'm so happy with that shark. I think you guys are gonna be as well. And I can't wait for him to become the monster that he should be. I'm almost speechless, so I'm gonna let you guys just enjoy him swimming for a little bit, and I'll see you guys next time.